everyone's talking about uh, Daniel. This is it. This is it. This is it. As as you being just a, a nice, kind, caring guy, is any part of you going to feel bad if when you beat DC Saturday night on his farewell fight? 100%. No, I'm not going to feel bad at all. Not at all? Nope. Just the way it is, it's your job and, and he's yeah, trying man. to beat you? He likes winning, so do I. But unfortunately, he's got to fight me for his last fight, which sucks. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm on YouTube the other day, and I, I come across this video, and it's Steven Seagal teaching uh, these secret moves to DC. One, have you seen this? And two, does that concern you? Uh, you know. <laughs> that looks like an old video. <laughs> it is It is old. It is old. So. I, I, saw, I saw like a split second of it. I, I was doing something. I saw that, though. But, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, dude. Seagal's a savage, bro, so you got to watch out for that guy. Right, I guess theoretically, DC, if he had any special moves, probably would have used them in one of the first two fights, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, I know that you were asked during a press conference about retiring. There's no way that this is your last one, right? I know you said you think about it. Anyway, realistically, this is it for you on Saturday night. No, man, I feel great. Honestly, I'm in the best shape I've ever been. Honestly, I'm 37, about to be 38 here next week, and I, I'm the best shape I've ever been, man. I'm like, I think it's more, I think I train just to keep, so I don't have a dad bod. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, uh, but honestly, I feel great. Honestly, and just uh, one thing I think me and my coaches, man, we're like a family. We all we just we just they we know each other so well. We figure so much out, and we just you know it's it's, it's sad to say like they all know my body. You know what I mean? So they know when I'm sore. They know you know. So we we we've picked up a lot of things. This, this camp, which is crazy. You know, it's uh it was a little hectic with this camp because we were quarantined and everything going on. Uh, we found a lot of good workouts and the best we could, man. So, but it was crazy. It was it was a lot of fun, though. We always have fun in camps, but this one was especially more fun because it was more intimate. If that makes sense. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um, I know you. Everyone always wants to ask what's next, and that's kind of weird because you're about to step into arguably the biggest heavyweight fight of all time. Um, I've talked to Francis, and Francis has said, "Hey, I want to. I want uh, another crack at Stipe. Uh You you brought up Blades. John Jones is the fight. Everyone always wants to see you fight John Jones. What's the dream fight after you beat DC on Saturday night? My pool. I'm a birthday. That's all I care about. Right now, I'm worried about Saturday. That's all I care about, man. And I get home, relax, get that belt, hang out with my daughter and my wife, and just enjoy life. Uh, Mike Tyson is coming back. You're fighting a 40-year-old who's leaving. I know you love boxing. Mike Tyson, obviously, a big UFC fan. What do you yeah. think about Mike coming back to the ring, Stipe? Looks like a savage, bro. Like, oh, my God. He was throwing, watching him do pad work. I was like, Jesus. Did you see his body? And, and, and he looks as fast as ever and powerful. Yeah, right. God bless him, dude. Good for him, dude. Honestly, good for him. That's awesome to see. 